we'd like to thank Royal Gourmet for sponsoring this video. We're gonna take these beautiful baby back ribs and turn them into something different from what most folks usually do, but still give them that over the top flavor. What do you think of when you hear Cajun? Louisiana bayous, jambalaya, a big crawfish boil? Do you ever think about taking those ribs and introducing them to Cajun? Two and a half teaspoons paprika, one and a half teaspoons kosher salt, two teaspoons garlic powder, one half teaspoon black pepper, one and a half teaspoon oregano, one half teaspoon white pepper, one teaspoon onion powder, one and a half teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon thyme. Let's give it a shake. We're going to start by removing this membrane from the back side of the ribs. It won't render away during the cook and it'll make them a little bit chewy. Now for my binder today, I'm just gonna use a little yellow mustard. And uh, if you've not used mustard, no worries. It will not change the flavor of these ribs. Uh, a lot of times I'll use Worcestershire sauce also. I really like uh, the Worcestershire. What's this here sauce, however you say it. Just a little drizzle on uh, both sides. Like I say, just enough to make it slick and wet so we can put the rub on it. Now we got that Cajun seasoning. We'll just season both sides and by removing that membrane, it'll allow our rub to penetrate the meat on the back side here. Now let these ribs sit here and so the outer layer can soak up some of that rub while we're getting that Royal Gourmet offset smoker going. Water pan, it's breezy and cool here today, so this water pan will help stabilize the temperature of this uh, uh, smoker and it also catch the drippings, make my cleanup a little easier. Now this smoker's right now is running around 245, 250. For the first hour-ish, it ran right around 200. I had a little bit more wood. It's been an hour and a half total. All I'm going to do now is just rotate the ribs. You can see they still need some more color just to make sure that you know one end doesn't get more done than the other because the heat comes in down here on the left side. That one on. Get our lid back down. We'll keep on cooking. Hey, it's been three hours. We're going to take these ribs off now. Now what I'm going to do is lay some butter down here. This is uh, Irish butter. It's what I like. Then I've just got some honey here. This happens to be barrel aged uh, hot honey, but you don't need to have barrel aged hot honey. Just use your local honey. Just sprinkle a little on there. Then we're gonna turn these ribs over in this butter just like so. And you want to wrap them up fairly tight. We got a little bourbon here. That's right. I think if I was Cajun, I would want some bourbon. What we're doing is steaming these ribs while it's in this foil. So you just want to make sure it's wrapped up tightly. There's no holes in your foil. I'm gonna wrap up the other one. We'll get them back on our smoker. Just get them back on here. Get this lid down. We're going to let them go another hour. I'm going to make Cajun sauce for these ribs. 
I've got one cup ketchup in the pan. I've got a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, however you say that sauce. I've got one third of a cup of stone ground mustard. Very gently, I'm coming over with a half a cup of Kentucky bourbon. Pouring that in. And here I have two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning and one teaspoon of garlic. Now this is molasses. I'm going to just use molasses to taste. So I'm gonna start off with about a teaspoon. I may add a little bit more later, but we'll see. And then this is hot honey. Um, this red clay honey, it's delicious. I believe it's from Georgia, it's yummy. So we're gonna use about a teaspoon of that as well. Now, I'm gonna get this heated up. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then let it simmer down. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Okay. It's really good. I do think it needs a little bit more sweetness. So we're gonna add a little bit more of the honey and a little bit more of the molasses. I'm just gonna do maybe another teaspoon. There we go. And same thing we're gonna do with the honey. I'm gonna stir it up. That's a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and cook it back down. Hey, it's been another hour. So we're into this for four hours. I'm gonna unwrap these ribs now. And I did turn them over about 30 minutes through. Let me get the lid back down so we don't lose our heat. Just wanna carefully, now these are gonna be hot, right? Let's have a look at the other side where you can actually see what's going on. Look at that, got the beautiful color, moist. Now we're gonna get them back on the smoker. Rack on there. It's been an hour since we put them back on here. So we had uh, three hours to start, hour in the foil, now an hour uncovered. Now a lot of folks We'll put them two hours in the foil. Nothing wrong with that. I'm putting that Cajun barbecue sauce on that Tammy made. You can see we're starting to get, I hope you can see that little pull back there. And uh, I think we'll check on them in probably about 30 minutes. Looking pretty good, actually smells pretty good. It got dark on us outside, but I've got one of those ribs. Let's give it a try. Nice bite. Mmm, full of flavor. I get the smoke, a little sweetness from the sauce, and then I get those Cajun flavors, right? The paprika. Oh, these are super good. They're sweet. They have a little bit of spice at the end. A smoky flavor. They're sticky from that sauce Tammy made. I feel like that little bit of bite. I mean, it's perfect. I love the seasoning. I really like the little bit of spice that this has at the end. It's not overpowering. It's just like the perfect amount. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You gotta check out the Dr. Pepper rib video right down below.